too many people are dying in vain together we could ease the pain Devon at the This is our first interview, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it is. It's you a had a great interview. interview with your songwriter Doran and with William on the yeah. Vlog. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you. What a surprise! We're at Sarah Alta's concert, and yeah. I've just discovered that you have such an operatic voice. Yes, thank you. I'm actually uh, classically trained. That's uh, I trained uh, classically when I was uh, 11 years old after I landed the role in the National Theatre of Iceland as Oliver Twist. So that's when I began playing on that. Yeah, yeah. Give me some more. Yeah, yeah. What were the songs yeah. from that? Yeah. Um, Food. As long as he needs me. Is that from Oliver? No, that's. Uh, whoa, I don't know what. Uh, oh my god, if it's not from Oliver. I think it's. Uh, Where is love? Does it come from far above? It's uh, when he's uh, speaking of his mother, his his, uh, his dead mother, and he and he and he's uh, because he gets love. He 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 never gets love from anybody because nobody wants wants him. Uh, yeah, I actually in the in the premiere I cried uh, like super well, hard. It seems to come very naturally for you. Yeah. How do you do it? These tear ducts. Oh my god. <laughs> You've got to teach me. There are moments when I need to shed tears and I yeah. simply cannot do it. I think it's just, uh, you know, if you if you feel if you feel that that you, that you want to cry, I think it's just a, uh, I think it's a wall we we have to like open. How do I open that wall? Just, uh, I think when the moment is right, you'll know. And if if you truly want to cry, you you'll let yourself cry. Yeah. Sounds very philosophical, Aaron. <laughs> Okay. Congratulations for getting into the Royal Academy yes. of Music. Thank this you so is much. Such a huge thing for you. Yeah, actually, that was like the best day of my life when I got accepted uh, on a scholarship. Uh, a scholarship as well. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It was really funny because uh, I lived in Iceland, and they, in the in the audition uh, itself, they asked, "All right, so we don't want to drag it uh, along." So we want to give you an offer and a scholarship, so uh, because we don't want to uh, make you wait back there in Iceland. So I actually, well, it's funny you're bringing up the moments where I always nearly cried because I nearly cried in front of the dean and the 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 big vocal uh, uh, like the the boss of the vocal academy. Yeah. So and uh, because they they absolutely uh, loved the, the aria that I did. I did a Russian aria, uh, Kuda Kuda. That is how you slay. If only the EBU could do the same. Don't go through the semi final. <laughs> we'll just see you on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so you performed with Sarah Alto on yeah. stage. How did your friendship develop? Oh, actually, she. Uh, it was really funny because, um, like, one week, like, uh, exactly one week after I won the national final, uh, they asked me uh, if I wanted to go to Lithuania. And I was like, beautiful yeah, country. Yeah, I've been, yeah. Um, the Vilnius is a beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, and that was like the first pre-party, like uh, in uh, in uh, in perspective, you know. Uh, so I went. Then it got bigger and bigger. Yeah, right? yeah, like thought, London, yeah, then like, Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Then Amsterdam, right? right? You were in Amsterdam. Too? Yeah, yeah, Amsterdam, and then Madrid. I did, I did all of them. Wow. Yeah, yeah. When you're back in London. <laughs> yeah. I'm Trooper. A, yeah. It's uh, it's been a it's been a long uh, it's been a long drive, uh, but yeah, uh, and she was there, and I was really nervous because that was the, like the first time I was, I've ever performed outside of Iceland. Uh, so, you know, how did you ease that pain? Yeah, actually, b because of Sarah, she helped me a lot. She uh, she calmed me down, and and uh, she uh, we I was helping her with her dress. She had problems with uh, like cutting the. She had like uh, like spartan rims on her red dress, and uh, and her manager Calvin uh, was trying to cut them. And I actually said like, well, I actually took a class uh, in uh, you know making outfits and costumes. Is there anything you haven't actually done? I mean, you're only 19. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like so ashamed here. Like, no, you, you have shouldn't. so much talent. No, I, it's ADHD, man. It's, it's, really? I have to do it. Like, if, I'm not, if I'm not busy, then I'm just bored, you know? <laughs> and uh, and yeah, yeah, and I, I helped her with the dress. I, I, I cut the rim so it was like a V-shape. 
a Spartan V-shape thing, and uh, and that that's our first uh, interaction. I was helping her with her costume before, and she was helping me with the stress. And the the, the night went beautifully, and uh, we were just uh, we went out to eat together, and and we just yeah developed it there. And then I met her in London and uh, in Amsterdam as well. And uh, and in Amsterdam too, they wanted me to come and to to London, and they asked me like, could you could you come? I know it's like a real really uh, like. Uh, early, uh, like it's an early thing before the final. But well, I had to do it. She's such a good friend, and uh, and uh, and we and we have both come from classical backgrounds, so we had to. Oh yeah. yeah. We had to take this aria together. We had to take this duet because it's one of my favorites. You've got a thing for red. I always yeah. see you with red shoes. What the? Can we? Can we kind of take? What is going on? Tell us about these red shoes. All right. So um, I only own pairs of red shoes. Uh, the, In the final, you were wearing black. Yeah, honey. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say. The only exception is that I was wearing red, uh, all red uh, burgundy uh, uh, jackets and, uh, and trousers. And these red shoes, the kid didn't match. And I was trying to fight for having these shoes in the final. Very Kate Bush. And the, yeah. And they wanted me to do the red ones. And they, they made me wear the red, uh, the, the black ones. Uh, yeah, they made me wear the black ones. And uh, it was, yeah, it was a tragedy. <laughs> do you so, know, when I interview, when I'm interviewing, like now that I'm interviewing you, I've yeah. got a bit of a backstory. Apparently, really? you're everybody's sweetheart. No, and I- really. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> In Iceland, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh. Is this a lot of pressure? Like, does that mean you can't be naughty? Yeah. Well, you know, I I have a bit of a naughty side. Oh, tell, do yeah. tell. <laughs> but you know, everybody like they accept me the way I am. You know, and 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 I accept. You haven't the, answered that question. Uh, you uh, just glossed uh, over <laughs> it. What is the naughty side? Yeah. Oh well, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a. It's kind of a thing, you know, when I'm, when I was, when I was little, and it's, it's kind of a, I've, I'm trying to dial it down because I'm a pathological, uh, when I was little, I was a pathological liar because I always wanted to make up stories because I wanted, like, because I was an actor was when I was kidding. I was always making up stories. You acting training too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for like being in musicals and uh, like t- TV shows uh, and stuff. And I, when I was little, I, I always wanted to like, if, if there was some little detail I could turn up a notch, I would do it. Um, like when I was set, telling stories about my uncle or stuff, stuff like that. And yeah, then uh, I was uh, I would just lie to all my classmates, and uh, and then they then they'll soon f- eventually find out, and I'll be like, oh well, it's just a story. <laughs> so that's the worst thing you've done. Oh well, you don't want to look in my book. Eurovision News with Attitude. We have been chatting to Ari, who confirmed is. Europe's sweetheart. No, I mean, like, that is- really? That's your bad story. <laughs> <laughs> He's on huh. social media, and you are Ari Olofsson, right? On Instagram. Yeah, Ari Olofsson. Uh, like Ari on the dash Olofsson. Yeah. There you go. So you better follow him. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>